Hold on to your hats, folks, because Donald Trump has a new plan, and this one involves taxes, or rather, the lack thereof. Trump wants to get rid of federal income tax entirely. That's right, no more W-2s, no more April 15th dread. Sounds pretty good, right? Well, like most things that sound too good to be true, there's a catch. A big, complicated catch. Trump's plan hinges on replacing the lost income tax revenue with something else, tariffs. Basically taxes on goods imported from other countries. He argues that this will boost American manufacturing and force countries like China to play fair on trade. But critics say it will just lead to higher prices for consumers and spark a global trade war. So is this a stroke of genius or a recipe for disaster? Let's dive into the potential benefits and drawbacks of Trump's radical proposal. Buckle up, it's going to be a bumpy ride. Now let's give the devil his due. Trump's proposal isn't without its potential benefits. For starters, imagine the extra cash in your pocket if you didn't have to pay federal income tax. That's more money for vacations, avocado toast, or maybe even paying off student loans. Trump argues that this extra money in people's pockets would stimulate the economy. People would spend more, businesses would thrive, and America would be great again. He also believes that eliminating income tax would simplify the tax code, making it easier for everyone to understand and file their taxes. No more need for expensive accountants or confusing forms. And then there's the whole tariffs thing. Trump claims that by slapping tariffs on goods from China and other countries, he can bring manufacturing jobs back to America. He envisions a resurgence of American industry with factories humming and workers earning good wages. Sounds idyllic, doesn't it? But as always, the reality is a bit more complicated. Okay, time for a reality check. While eliminating income tax might sound appealing at first glance, there are some serious potential downsides. First and foremost, the government needs money to function, like a lot of money, and income tax makes up a huge chunk of the federal budget. Without that revenue stream, the government would have to make some tough choices. We're talking drastic cuts to essential programs like Social Security, Medicare, and education, not to mention funding for the military, infrastructure, and scientific research. Then there's the issue of tariffs. While they might sound good in theory, in practice they often lead to higher prices for consumers. Remember that new TV you've been eyeing? Yeah, that's probably going to cost a lot more if it has to be imported with a hefty tariff attached. And those higher prices could hurt businesses and slow down the economy. The exact opposite of what Trump is promising. Section 4. Filling the Gap Alternative Funding Sources So, if we're not going to have income tax, how will the government pay for all its stuff? Well, there are a few alternative funding mechanisms, each with its own set of pros and cons. One option is a national sales tax, similar to what many states already have. This would tax consumption rather than income, but it could disproportionately impact lower-income households who spend a larger percentage of their income on necessities. Another possibility is a value-added tax, or VAT, which is common in many European countries. A VAT is levied at each stage of production and distribution, and while it can be a more stable revenue source, it can also be complex to administer. And let's not forget about property taxes, estate taxes, and corporate taxes. The government could choose to increase these existing taxes to make up for the lost income tax revenue, but that would likely be unpopular with many Americans. Section 5. A Balancing Act. Feasibility and Consequences. So, is Trump's plan to eliminate income tax feasible? The short answer is, probably not. The logistics of replacing such a significant source of revenue are incredibly complex, and the potential consequences for the economy and government programs are enormous. While the idea of paying less in taxes might be appealing, it's important to consider the bigger picture. Eliminating income tax without a viable alternative funding mechanism could have devastating consequences for the country. It's a gamble that most experts agree is not worth taking. So, while the idea might sound good on paper, it's probably best if we leave this one in the realm of fantasy.